Hi, so welcome to another uh, What's Your Question with Mummy in a Tutu. So this is my newish vlog series where I um, answer questions that have been asked to me by readers, other bloggers um, and different things like that. So this time the question comes from Rachel from Rachel Busting. Gonna pop her link below so that you can all um, go over there and give her some love. Um, and her question was, um, where do I continually get ideas for blogging? Because I post quite regularly. Um, well, 99% of my posts actually come from something that's happened to me at some point in my life, whether it was this week, this month, um, or a year ago, or 10 years ago. One of my most read posts was um, about the time I I met my soulmate and and how um, that relationship panned out and how it doesn't always work out and that and you know and we're not actually together or the person I thought was my soulmate um, and that you know that was a story that started when I was 18 and I'm now nearly 32 um, so that was that was that one that was one of my life posts um, and then another one that was um, really um, widely read was the day she almost died which was um the r recount of when i nearly lost Alyssa because she she choked and my mum actually um saved her from from choking to death um so most of my inspiration comes from life or things that happen um a lot of other inspiration comes from conversations i have with friends as well um, whether they be bloggy friends or um or out offline friends or family and sometimes I actually sit down and have a brainstorming session with my mum um, because she'll just throw random ideas at me and for some reason it, it just works and I'll come out and I'll write as we're brainstorming and um, she'll say something to me and it'll actually trigger off something in my head and I, I like working with um, when I'm thinking about an idea for a story uh, I'll think of a title and if I know that I can get the title right in my head or something in my head really clicks with the title then I know that I'm going to be able to write it because I kind of just have like a word vomit moment and just like splurge um, all over the page and you know and those are often my best ones and um, yeah so so I do I do brainstorm a lot and um, I think about what's happened to me that week that month um, or any like pinnacle points and things like that. If I'm really stuck, I'll go and have a look at StumbleUpon, I'll go and have a look at Reddit, um, I'll go and have a look at um, Net Mums, Mumsnet, um, and different newspapers and things and see what's actually like a hot topic at the moment um, and see if I've got an opinion on that. And if I do, then, you know, then that's something I can build my post around. So yeah, top tips for finding um, things to write about is, you know, have a good brainstorm, uh, write from what you know, what you've experienced, because I think that's that's a lot of the comments that I get on my blog is that people can relate to the posts, you know, they've either gone through it themselves or being a mum or being a woman or, or you know, having been in love or something like that, they can relate to it. And those often make the most readable and most approachable posts. Obviously, you know, I um, I write reviews on my blog as well. So that's easy because the, the source is given to me of what to write about. Um, but yeah, generally, so, you know, find someone you can brainstorm and bounce off of with. If you can't find someone to do that, then do it yourself with some paper. I do, I have lots of different coloured sticky notes where I like stick ideas in different categories and, and then work my way through them. Some will never get written because they're sort of the idea that leads to the main idea. Um, yeah, and then if you're really stuck, you know, jump on social media, jump on, you know, online, Google, you know, anything like that. A lot of bloggers have also written, you know, top 20 topics to write about or, you know, top 50 autumn blog post ideas and things like that. Have a look through those because whilst yes a lot of them will have been done and you know and you might have your own spin on them as well you know an idea or a hint that someone writes as their idea for a blog post might actually trigger a post off in, in you know in your mind as well so sit down have a think sorry i'm sniffing i've got a horrendous cold at the moment so i probably shouldn't actually be vlogging so yeah brainstorm um have a look at the blog topic ideas you know Dr. Google is your friend, look for some ideas there, have a good brainstorm and, you know, write what you feel, write 
what you want to write and write what makes you and you just really can't go wrong so that's it thank you okay. ever so much rachel for your question um that's it and i'll see you all next time thanks bye